Hello YouTube, we are on the Real Programming channel. I am its host, my name is Andre, I welcome, greet you. And uh, this is our ninth lesson, it's about HTML, PHP and MySQL. We will talk about chapter 2, connecting to MySQL, how it fits together. Knowing how things fit together before you start building is a good idea. You created your first PHP script and it's working well. But getting your forum results in a mail isn't good enough anymore. You need a way to save the results of your form. So you can keep them as long as you need them and uh, retrieve them. When you want them, a MySQL database can store your date for safekeeping. But you need to hook up your PHP script to the MySQL database to make it happen. Owens PHP form works well, too well. Owens ML script was fine when he was only getting a few responses, but now he is getting a lot of mails, far more than he can manage. He is accidentally deleted some without reading them, and some are getting stuffed in his spam folder, which he never checks, in fact. And the mail he'd be very interested in seeing is hidden away in his spam folder right this moment. Owen needs a way to store all the messages so he can look at them when he has time and easily find ones related to Fang. This lost alien abduction report men mentions seeing a dog. This is information Owen desperately needs. Okay. And it will take more than a coffee bus for Owen to keep up with all the alien abduction reports arriving in his box. Owen needs a message like this safely stored in one place where he can sift through them for possible fang sightings. Just in case you didn't. No, most people pronounce MySQL by spelling out the last three letters is as in my eyes QL. This is where a MySQL database can help. MySQL excels as strong storing data. Owen really needs a way to store the alien abduction report that uh, data in a safe place other than his email inbox. What he needs it is a database which is kinda like a fancy ultra-organized electronic file cabinet. Since the information in a database is extremely organized, you can pull out precisely the information you need when you need it. Database are managed by a special program called a database server. In our case, MySQL database server. You communicate with the database server in a language it can understand, which in our case is SQL. A database server typically runs alongside a web server on the same server computer working together in concert reading and writing data in the delivering web page. The SQL in MySQL stands for Structured Query Language. MySQL stores data inside of database tables. The web server processes a web page, requires runs PHP scripts and returns HTML content. The database server reads and writes data from or to the database. This is data. The database, database itself is often stored as files on the hard drive, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. MySQL database are organized into tables, which store information as rows and columns of related data. Most web applications use one or more tables inside a single database, sort of like a different file folders within a file cabinet. A MySQL database server can contain multiple database. A database can, can contain multiple tables. SQL is a query language used to communicate with a MySQL database with alien abduction data saved, safely stored in a MySQL database Owen can analyze the reports from everyone who answered yes 
to the fan question at uh, his convenience. He just needs to use a little CKL code to talk to the database server. All one needs a MySQL database. So it's decided. MySQL database are good and all one needs one to store alien abduction date. So remember, don't forget, you will find all the code and materials of these lessons under this video in the description link to Google Drive. Ok, he can then modify the report.php script to store a date in the table instead of emailing it to himself. The table will keep the data safe and sound as it pours in from abductees, giving Owen time to sift toad. It isolates potential fang things, but first things first a database. Creating a MySQL database requires a MySQL database server and a special software tool. The reason is because, unlike a web server, a database server has to be communicated with using SQL commands. Creating MySQL database and tables requires communicating with a MySQL database server. MySQL Terminal is a command line window that provides access to a command line where you can enter SQL commands. Owen needs a SQL, MySQL tool to create his new alien abduction database or table. PHP My Admin is actually writing in a PHP. PHP My Admin is a graphical tool that allows you to create database and tables told a web interface. Two popular MySQL tools are the MySQL Terminal and PHP MyAdmin. Both tools let you issue SQL commands to create database and tables, insert data, select data, etc. But um, my PHP admin, PHP my admin goes a step further, future by also providing a point and a click web page based interface. Some web hosting companies include PHP My Admin as part of uh, their standard MySQL service, while the MySQL terminal can be used to access MySQL installations. <coughs> you must have a MySQL database server installed before turning the page. It's impossible to have Owen without one, if you already have a MySQL database server installed and working read-on. If not, turn to Appendix E and follow the instruction for getting it installed. If you are using a web hosting server, service the office MySQL, go ahead and ask them to install it. Several pieces of information are required to access a MySQL database server. You'll need them again later, so now it's a good time to figure out what they are. Check off each one of after you write it down. You need to check all of this. If you're afraid this book uh, might fall into the wrong hands, feel free to skip writing this one down. With uh, your MySQL database server information in hand, all that's left is confirming that the server is up and running. Check one of the boxes below to confirm that you can successfully access your MySQL server. You only need to check one of these. If you found some other MySQL tool that works, write it down here. Create a MySQL database and uh, table and uh, you will uh, we will talk about this in the next lesson and uh, on this our ninth lesson about PHP MySQL and HTML is over thanks for watching subscribe to my channel please put likes and share with friends and don't forget comment meditate do exercise drink more water eat chocolate and bananas and uh, do exercise every evening. That's all. Thank you. Bye.